We're we're, hey guys. we're a big old family here. Welcome back to the Super I'm... Soda Bros podcast. Uh, my name is Caleb. We got Luke down there. Hello. Got Jedediah Smith. And Mike. Really my name. Micah but... Soderberg. I like how we're all saluting. We're like, sir. It's Jedward Seven. This is the final you... stand, boys. Jedward Seven. Final one. This is the final podcast of when we're recording this. So. Not to be confused with final podcast of all time. There'll be more. Mm-mm. Well, I mean, by the time What's tomorrow it? rolls around, there's not going to be a world anymore. So maybe this our is fi- the final podcast. I mean, I think our Fair. final podca- podcast will be episode 420 because that will just be a high note. And I'll also be in like four years. So. No, that's like <laughs> the year, the year book, that's like 20. <laughs> if it's bi-weekly, it's going to be like. Oh, it's seven. true. It's, it's 20. Oh, shoot. So I'm going to have kids by the time we're done with our show. <laughs> Are you going to finish? Is there, is there any time you're going to finish? It's like, you're going to end at a concise point? Because Joe Rogan's still going strong. He has kids. I mean, as long as we keep making money from this, I think we'll go on. <laughs> yeah. We'll be, we're, our, our money, our, um, um, our payment is Fortnite gift cards. True. Yeah. Very, very solid form of payment. V-Bucks are the only universal money. currency. They're going to be. Honestly? No, they are. <laughs> What do you think, Micah? <laughs> yep, I, I agree. I, I I do think Fortnite will be a universal currency. There's <laughs> not going to be any more euro, pounds, dollars, coins, any nothing. Yeah, Fortnite yeah, V-Bucks. Yep. I'm also highly in the credit card debt from Fortnite. <laughs> My right. credit card debt is it's through it's the made roof. Made off of some NFTs. I own three NFTs. <laughs> do you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. They're I, I all them. NFTs. You can, you... I have, I have three <laughs> of the five zombie crypto punks. There you go. In my possession. See, like it's like I love how you're investing in NFTs before like the stock market. Well, I'm NFTs not 18, so market. I can't invest in anything. Listen, everyone, well, if you're watching NFTs this, more potential in the stock market. So, if you're watching this, screenshot this before it's gone. This is a very expensive NFT. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo, there he is. I just made that. Screenshot. There we go. I there he is. Laser Dave Double Monkey. Screenshot that is worth like at least like 50 quid. Not dollars, quid. quid. That's, like, that's quid. English for me. <laughs> Out of any currency, quid. You didn't bother to like translate it to dollars. No. Quid. Quid. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So anyway, um, we don't yep. really have any segments for the show. There are a few things that I want to um. ask Jed, but I think we're yeah, just go going to be talking about stuff. So, Jed, Jed first, uh, I got to ask, how was the Jordan Peterson lecture? Um, first of all, I'd like to preface with the fact that Micah doesn't know who Jordan Peterson is. And that is really, I was really, like, I googled him and I still don't know who he is. I was like, maybe you'll recognize him. He didn't recognize him either. But, um, aside from that, it was good. It was good. It was interesting. He's a good speaker. He's very thoughtful. Very Mm -hmm. deep. Yeah. A little TD sometimes. Some of his things went over my head. Like, but, uh, otherwise we're like, so, kind of sometimes hit, sometimes hit, sometimes didn't. So it depended on the topic, but I think overall, he was a solid performance. He's going over right now. He's on a tour called like 12 more rules for life, a sequel to his book, 12 rules for life. Mm -hmm. So he had some obscure rule about not, not obscure, but like some rule about not, not trashing on institutions without knowing their base and their, their foundation. Yeah. So it was pretty, it was pretty good. That's Mm. awesome. You're jealous. I I kind of am like, no, no, you are uh, of, of the greats. I have only seen seen in your eyes. My beautiful ass. I've only seen Ben Shapiro, but that was like. You see, okay, now I'm. Oh, yikes. So uh, I would trade Jordan Peterson. Okay. Well, honestly, I... for, for all the heavy hitters for people nowadays who are like, you know, into political stuff or whatever, Ben Shapiro is like top tier. Him, Joe Rogan. He's Jordan a podcaster. Peterson, He's not Jordan a. Peterson's pretty hated on. Jordan, Pe- yeah. uh, Jordan Peterson gets a lot of hate. There yeah. were protesters when we went to the show. Oh, of course. I was saying things for oh, Shapiro. Oh, yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Of and he actually, or Howard he, Stern. He, Howard, Howard Stern, I don't think, has any protesters. Cause I don't even know who that is. He's like what our parents would oh. watch. He's been around for like 30 years. Yeah. Micah knows who Howard Stern is. 
Micah's is not that cool. Micah's cool. He's the one who got beetle juice sticks. Like, oh, oh yeah, 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 the curly haired guy. I'm doing glasses. okay. How you doing? Yeah, beetle juice. Beetle juice. Yeah. Please, please. Um, how's your mom doing? Oh yeah, yeah, she's doing good. Oh, uh, how old's your mom? Oh, she's uh, she's fifty five. Oh yeah. Oh, you're, you're not, oh, you're she's not, you're not ringing any bells. I still don't know who this is. You're just doing a weird impression. Uh, how are you, beetle juice? Oh, I'm eighty five. Do I have to bring this up? Oh, oh come on, beetle juice is. The legend. Come on. Well, he's, he's gonna fight Jake Paul. I heard. Well, first I'm gonna look up. Dude, Howard Jake Paul's Stern. going down. Hold on, hold on. I could take Jake Paul. Do a Kip. Do the Howard Stern. I'll, Kip, I'll do Beetlejuice. You do Howard Stern. Okay, let me. They're the same person, basically. In the chat. I don't know who either of these people are. I'm putting it in general chat. I can just do. Whoop. I'm doing just a flip because this is easier. Come on now. That's Beetlejuice. Do you not recognize Beetlejuice? Oh, it's not focusing. Beetlejuice. How do you know? Beetlejuice is. Beetlejuice is literally like the biggest hit out of New York since like New York City itself. I'm not from New York, am I? Oh, I don't care. You're from. Oh wait, never Finish. mind. You're from. You're from New Hampshire, so I respect you. You know who else is from New Hampshire? That's Ludwig. It. Oh! Zoop boys! The plan is simple! Boys, Wait, the you... plan is simple! Can't you know Ludwig? Any Ludwig? Baconers in the chat? Any Baconers? Caleb, Today? I do not know who- I know who Ludwig is. Ruth knows who Ludwig is. Oh, she doesn't. I've, I've seen, I, I think listen, she does. Listen, I've seen Ruth I've seen his face. Pizza boy, probably. All right, pizza boy. <laughs> Today the plan is simple. Well, sure, thing is, we're gonna start off with sure. the big three topping pizza. Sure. <laughs> the thing is, though, is that Ludwig was in a lot of those like Among Us games with all those people. Yeah, he was. So Among Ruth, Us really Ruth. Among Us. I, I, this has been said before, but Among Us really brought Twitch together in the sense that it started the collaboration meta, which is still going on. It also made like people 20 people's out. careers. <laughs> yeah. Because it, so, it was so easy. You had to play with, you play with someone once, pull off a sick Among Us play, and all of a sudden you have 2,000 viewers. So it's like, yeah. <coughs> Corpse. In terms of Twitch, it was pretty easy. Yeah, Corpse had 5 million on Spotify before Among Us. Cap. Before he streamed. Yes, he did. Wow. You're not, you can't cap I that. I smell cap. Big cap. Frick you. <laughs> uh, no, I've I've seen his face, but I don't I haven't watched any of his videos. Oh, we hung out, we hang out, but oh yeah, oh, nice. Tell him how his I mom's doing. How how's his mom doing? I don't know. I think she's dead. Oh lord. <laughs> well, we're not that good of friends. We're not that good of friends. So, like maybe she is. I don't know. But uh, oopsie. So Micah, what's the deal with your hat? I'm actually is that that is that the little alien dude from Toy Story? It's when Logan Paul it's went Logan into the suicide, suicide force, force and he filmed yeah. a dead body. Oh, that's right! <laughs> I had the Logan Paul hat. You bought that? I bought it for $45 from Japan. $45? You could have gotten it for $2 off of eBay. You guys are such Zoomers. Mm. That's Christine really literally much. said that. Caleb, did you, buy the, did you buy the World of Warcraft extension? No, I don't play World of Warcraft. Yeah, he does. Sure. He's Captain. Cap I'm sure. Cap yeah, I remember Cap walking out. I remember coming to your house when I was like six. Walking upstairs and in the basement, and you just spent like all day painting with figurines in the basement, like all day. Okay. With intrinsic detail. That's and not World of Warcraft. That's not World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is a video game, sir. Let me tell you. Dungeons of Dragons. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Dungeons of Dragons. Okay. <laughs> Noob, nerd, loser. Well, you know. One, one man's junk is another man's treasure. No, it's all, junk. it's all junk. Honestly, no, I disagree. <laughs> Do you know what is junk? See that? You're probably a League of Legends player. Uh, no, I'm not either. He plays oh, League of Legends. Yes, trust me. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. The only true RTS game is Risk. What's RTS? Real time strategy. Real -time strategy. Oh, Risk. Yeah, I don't play strategy games. I play shooters. Yeah, like Fortnite. Fortnite, Valorant, Apex, you name it, Crunker. You name it, all I'm those. On grind. Yeah. Except, except most of the ones you can name. I'm, you know, I'm playing on, all not. the main, playing all the mainstream games is always super hip and super cool. So poggers. 
so pogger champ crank 90s all day i'm just <laughs> saying when you find those games that are like under the radar and then they blow up that's when like you really guys we have a special guest <laughs> yo come on special in guess. special guest who is it's it none other than hey grandpa. it's grandpa grandpa oh, oh, they have, tell them to put on hey, the headphones. Grandpa, do you want to wear these and talk to them? Yeah, I like your costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Grandpa. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, How are you, you doing? You guys look good. Thanks. Yeah, we try. Yeah. yeah it was good to talk to you. I wish I had a picture of this guy over here, though. The my guy. The That's, uh, yeah. The alien. Do you like my hat? Yeah. His alien hat. Yeah, that's I like really it. something from out of space. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 At yeah. least from, like, New Mexico or something. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give it up for Grandpa! Yay! Thank you for letting me talk. Oh, no problem. This alone. You were talking to us. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Radio it's famous. A yeah. <laughs> he made it. You too, Grandpa. Bye, Grandpa. Side ah. tangent. Radio no, famous. I like you just like, how's it going? How's the weather? Yeah, well... Uh oh, Jed's muted. What happened? Oh, Jed's quiet now. Good. Uh oh. All right, uh -oh. so let's talk behind Jed back. Oh. Jed's back. No, I'm not muted. Oh, I can't. I, don't hear I can't. Jed. I'm not muted. I don't hear him still. Um, I it's can't stand thing. Jed at all. Like, yeah, Jed. Totally. I don't understand. And he's I fat, annoying, stupid, Pro ugly. Probably idiot. the worst cousin, honestly. Like, and he's a <laughs> and, and like he's a man, so it's like ew. Uh, ew, totally gross. So so bad. So I'm white. He's now, if, if he wasn't, if he wasn't muted, he could actually like respond to this. But I still, and defend I still himself. Can't, still can't hear him. Yeah, oh yeah, he's definitely muted for sure. Definitely oh, wait. Muted. Yeah. I don't know. The, he's not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Oh. Nah. oh as soon as Nona came in, suddenly he was unmuted. Of course. I was never muted. He was muted. I I couldn't hear him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Nona. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's not. It's not. My, no, I don't know. I don't know who that is. We're trying to get rid of him. He won't leave. He's back. <laughs> he's he's back. He got in the Talking chat. We're me? trying to get rid of him. <laughs> Mike is like, me? We would apologize for him. With he's really hat? an embarrassment to our industry. <laughs> <laughs> he's always oh, that yeah. one. Also, um, before we go any further, I did want to ask... Michael, real quick, what uh -oh. are, what are the new games you've been playing? What have you just gotten into within the la last like month? Well, I don't really change, but one thing I have changed is I ditched Siege. The oh. only reason why is because no friends play it, and if they did, it'd be like two people. And you the updates are terrible. Game. There's new no new content. Everybody is using keyboard and mouse, which is cheating. And mm. Fortnite has one of, is having one of its best seasons ever, so I've been playing well, that not, and like best Slime Rancher. Since OG Fortnite. Well, the only good seasons in the past like two years is Chapter Two, Season Two, and Chapter Three, Season One. Hmm. I didn't like I didn't like Chapter Three, Season One. I like Chapter Two, Season No, three. no, Chapter Two, Season Two. I like Midas. That chapter yeah, Midas, one, and then the one three. after that was okay. That was, was butter. That that was what? the water one. Uh-uh. That was nope. nasty. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have never played. I have no context. Wait, kid, you have never even never played Fortnite? Fortnite? Oh, no, 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 okay. I played Fortnite for like an hour or two hours. That's wow. Poggers. All right. And Siege, we, like, so one hour. So you're telling me you haven't, you in all this time, you haven't written down any topics that aren't video game related. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Any topics, period. Do you... Do you really want to talk about Ukraine and Russia right now? Yes! Yes! Russia! Woo! No, <laughs> baby! Woo! If Russia gets what they way, we're going to be drafted. Pro yeah, I have no, yeah, conditions, so I can't. I have a kind of side story about this. So, not about this. Unrelated, but we seem to be out of ideas. So, Tell me your and, story, Jed. I'm so, I'm so intrigued by your story right Hold now. Hold on, Please, Jed's muted on. again. Jed, Jed, you're muted. He's not. I'm not muted. I, I can't hear you. Did you mute me? You probably muted me accidentally. I didn't mute you. I, I can't hear you. Okay, thank you. So at school, at school, my group of friends know about the YouTube channel and all, because a thriving YouTuber and all. And um, no. on my YouTube shorts, I can make community posts, which are really sick. 
because I can interact with an audience who actually like my community post as opposed to Twitter, where I'll get one like and it's always a mic cut. Vice versa. Sometimes a retweet. Sometimes a retweet. But um, anyway, what I'll do, th- my school has these really addictive cookies. They're delicious. And I probably put probably 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 put nicotine in it in it because it's just they're so addictive. They're probably put something <laughs> no, else they don't actually, there. but they're very very good cookies. Just so cooking. Is, <laughs> if if one of my friends buy me a cookie, I'll let them make a community post <laughs> with some boundaries. Because one time one one of my friends tweeted, "I hate minorities," or not tweeted, put put that. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I did delete that very promptly, so I did. But another one, another the other day, someone else put out, uh, "I hate Ukraine, Ukraine flag, Ukraine flag heart," and. Um, I got an angry comment earlier today saying, like, you should really consider this topic more deeply. And I felt really awkward and uncomfortable, so I deleted it. And that was really all I had to say, but I didn't really like where this was going, so I'm glad I steered it off. I love how, like, your comeback was just deleted. Just like, no. Well, that's I, what I, an argument. I don't know anything about this context. I don't know anything about this context. Well, well if I go... Except some... at, like, war. And then Demir, I wonder if, if we call Demir, do you, think I'll, do you think I'll join if we put Demir? No. No. He won't join, but it'd be he funny because Demir, according to Demir, an established Ukrainian, he says this has been happening for years and that people are just caring about it now. An established. I mean, there's always been shows of force, but now it's like actually kind of serious because now like other countries are involved and Russia's just waiting to see what Biden's going to do. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm probably going to eat ice cream or something. Yeah. <laughs> but go play Luigi with his uh, granddaughters. <laughs> what was there was a thing I um, saw on Instagram. It was on Instagram about, like, a recent, like, like he was at a press conference or something like that, and he was telling a joke or whatever. And it was, like, the only time where I'm like, okay, this dude should not be president because he has some really funny stories about his life. You remember, did, was, did I send that to you? Man, this guy yeah, president. He's a comedian. Yeah. It was like, and I, and I replied, I'm like, so he would make an amazing grandpa, but terrible president. Oh, yeah. Like, Hold on. Uh, I'll, see if I can, I'll see if I can find I can just play the audio. It's like I think Biden would be a better grandpa than Trump. I think um, Biden was getting on a on a helicopter or something, and a reporter asked oh. him, you know, like, you know, what's going on with Ukraine? What news can we expect from Ukraine and Russia? No, and he's just like, like he owns his hat. You can wear that. You can see him within this hat. Aside from this, aside from this nine by sixteen camera picture on my screen, just so you know. So. Hold on, hold on. Oh. I got, hold on, hold on. Okay, Luke, you go first, then I'll finish my story. Okay. This is the quick story of Joe Biden. Hold on. Okay, quick st- It was just a story of, like, hey, I pay your salary. Come here and take this dead dog off my lawn. Yeah, he's like, okay. I understood generally what they were saying. Yeah, and he's like, well, okay, I put it on her doorstep instead. And I'm like, oh, it was funny. He was like, dude, okay, he's like a savage. She said, I don't care. I want this dog on my lawn now. And he'd be like, so I ate it. And he ended it right there. No. That would be really but that funny. wouldn't be a real story. And this isn't, this isn't a real story either. This is not... In no, in no universe did this happen. Could have. In in no universes, have. anything could happen. I mean, Delaware is pretty wacky. <laughs> the slums of Delaware. <laughs> Delaware should be a state. Happen. Hashtag abolish Delaware. What? Join Maryland, you're lame. <laughs> ah, so what I was saying before. Um, so a reporter asked Biden, you know, if he had any comments on the Russia-Ukraine situation, and as he's getting into his helicopter, he answers. Happy Valentine's Day. Wow, thank you. Great, that was not the answer to the question we wanted. Happy, va- Happy Valentine's Day. Hello. Um, How much are you guys getting paid? Um, oh, like yeah, a nothing. solid solid high five, I think. No, you, you never met them in person, so you can't physically be getting a high five, idiot. Idiot. No, I'm going to get paid <laughs> later at some point. No, you're not going to see them, so how are they going to give you a high five? The sponsor? Of course I'll see them. Why would you see them? Because I go visit. Okay, well, let's hear the sponsor, then I'll judge this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most sponsors like Venmo or PayPal, so. Our sponsor. NordVPN! <laughs> Nord- no, Meta. Facebook Meta. It's Our... not Meta, it's Meta. Your mom. Sir. Calm down. End the conversation. Done. Too far. I don't know what he said. Oh, I said your mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mike is not wearing a headset, so that's a little bit different. That's true. Micah, go get some earbuds or something. Why not? Anyway, Why? this week we're sponsored by Easy Pass. Have you ever wanted to go from point A to point B saving money? Easy Pass no. is the sponsor for you. Uh, you hmm. you do. And once you go through and you figure out that, you know, you need it, you do. 
So, Good. as you okay. as you use it, no, I'm not done yet, Jedediah. As you as you take Easy Pass with you in your motor vehicle transportation unit, you are passing through different states. Sometimes they have the audacity to charge you a travel tax, which is unconstitutional, but they're going to do it anyway. So you're going to use the Easy Pass. You're going to put it in your car, and you pay a flat amount to this one company rather than an extremely Im uh, improved and ginormous amount to the state and we hate the government so we're not going to pay the state directly we're going to pay a separate company to then pay the government for you so, yeah support small business can before I, can you I, support I, um, government are you still are you still on this no go ahead yes go ahead okay this is actually sorry this is actually um like i it was funny if you're doing a joke sponsor this is like a real company that like would actually pay people to advertise for them and you're not getting any money from this, and you're giving them a small, small part of free advertising. I do not see how you win from this. I seriously... I think they need all that advertising they can get. Listen, you know? Caleb, our previous no. sponsor, Mayonnaise, was great. And before that, we had, like, cheese balls. Yeah. You just got, straight up yeah. cheese. You know, sometimes you just gotta get sponsored by the government. Take that free handout. You know what? We get sponsored by Golden Delicious Duff. Duff Man knows what oh, you want. Yeah, oh. You get sponsored by Duff. <laughs> Eat it. The real fake. Beer I saw. Company. I was uh, yesterday when I was going to see Jordan Peterson. We went to a mall. I told Mike this. We were going to a mall earlier. And it was like a T-shirt shop, and on the wall there was a sign that not a sign, but a T-shirt that just had Duff beer, like the logo on it, and it was really cool. I was thinking <laughs> about buying it, but they wouldn't let me wear it to school. Oh, that's sad. but they let you wear a Bernie 2016 t-shirt. <laughs> well, Dude. I mean, they can't. Okay. It's free speech. If it's alcohol, they can't do it, but free speech, they can. Yeah. Jed, I just want to say that the Bernie shirt you have is like Micah. I don't know if it was you or Micah, but you like edited it yourself into like the Grand Canyon or Disneyland or something like that. Yeah. No, it was, <laughs> that was like the <laughs> funniest thing I've seen you, in a did long you time. That, did you see that TikTok you made? <laughs> I think or so. Super Bowl, hang on. Actually, um. I yeah, was you? Was it you at the Super Bowl or something like that? Yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, I'll post it in the chat. Oh, I'll post it in the general chat. So good. It took, me, I was, I took me. It took me three minutes of Photoshop to make it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was very so simple. Good. It was a very simple design, but I liked it. I just used Photoshop for the first time in like four years today. I'm a, I'm a Photoshop wizard. I need to send off all of my. I'm not making anything for you without money. Yeah, uh, this that's the one. Gen I love that, Micah. What? The the edit you made of him at Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The single word hypocrite made me laugh out loud when I saw that. Imagine going literally... in person to the Super Bowl instead of staying at home and watching the ads. Hypocrite. <laughs> the ads this year for the Super Bowl were not that good. They weren't the that good, halftime no. halftime show was pretty fire. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I'm carried. No, that's I mean, great. yeah. I think I, feel like... I do not see how you can see a doc thing that Dr. Dre carried. Was, his last show was good, but his first one was not uh, exceptional. Well, also, Dr. Dre has not been... Well, he just released a song with Eminem called Gospel, but Dr. Dre has not made music since 2002 or something like that. So him performing is like, guys, it's Dr. Dre. Like, come on now. It's not like... So he oh. made Eminem, which is kind of cool. Not made, but he like... He, like, gave he, Eminem he, made, he made Eminem. He manufactured him. Yeah, if it yeah. wasn't for Dr. Dre, Eminem wouldn't be a thing. I saw a funny post on Twitter where it was like, okay, we're going to have all the guys dressed in black, or, and we're going to have the lady dressed in white, and then Snoop Dogg's like, blue. And the producers are like, excuse me? He's like, blue. And then he just wears blue. You can't like, explain a meme. You have to send us the meme or not say anything. I yeah. Know, well, I already explained it, so. Yeah, but I you shouldn't it. have. I thought you were going to send it. it to us. I thought you were just going to like read it out word for word. Thanks, Lou. But uh, hey. It's like it's like I'm, it's like I'm telling a story. Oh, like a shaman. It's like yeah. he has an original thought for once. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> you know repeat other things as my own to make it seem like I'm smart, but I'm actually just copying other people. Bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah, plagiarism is a valid tactic. No, no, it's not. It is. That's what I learned from school. You are homeschooled. <laughs> and you know what? What else I learned from school? Mime. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? My mom. I know what it was, but it was like, oh. Do you know what that's from, Jed? No. What's it like living under a rock? Oh, got him. <laughs> Come on, dude. Is, is it have a you heard... Pie, Jacksepticeye, and Markiplier reference? No. Have you, no. Have you heard of regular show? No. Oh, I've heard of it, yeah. Okay, I I, I've heard, so heard of it. I was almost about to freak More I don't know watch it. And... Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you're what, like five or something? Yeah. What do you guys think? Out of the three, which is the best? 
Family Guy, Simpsons, or uh, South Park? Out of the three animated. Simpsons. Simpsons, 100%. Simpsons. But, um, yeah, I think as a show, it. Simpsons, but I think Family Guy has better out-of-context clips. Yeah, because Family Guy has, like, more funny moments and more culturally relevant moments, which is, I yes. think, really, Simpsons really overall, episodes overall, are funny, but... Simpsons but, like, context overall, is over, Yeah, overall, Simpsons is, like, a all-around show that has, like, a start and a finish and story and whatnot, whereas Family Guy, is, I feel like, has that, but it's more like, hey, like, we're putting in punchlines from cultural references that are currently happening. Yeah. And we'll just stick that in. Yeah, 100%. Right in. I don't actively watch any of them, but still funny. None of us do. Uh, Simpsons on Saturday mornings with breakfast. Really? You actually? Yeah. That's, that's cool. You never wanted to do that with me when I was at your house. <laughs> Well, you were over, okay. so everyone's like, no TV, no video games, cousins are over. No Halo until you kidding. turn nine. <laughs> no, yeah, bro, that rule, like, that rule was so flexed when I came to my sisters. With me, it was like nine, and then for Telly, it was like, oh, yeah. Dude, Whatever. No, let me really tell played, you, dude. But... Dude, we never had internet our entire lives growing up. We had maybe, like, an hour of video games a week if we did well in our schoolwork I never, and we as behaved. I as I recall, from a very early age, didn't your, or not very early, early age, but didn't your parents say you had to pay for it yourself and you just didn't want to? The internet, yeah. Because we didn't have yeah, money. We didn't, we didn't have, have money. Oh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't have jobs. You did for, like, the last, like, five years you're in the house. No, but we, no, but I mean, like, when our parents were like, hey, like, we need to have, like, if you want life, you have to pay for it. None of us were working, so we didn't have really any money in our budget. I wasn't working, uh, yeah. I was paying for it. You want, you want a loan? Oh. Uh, let me rain some money down on you. My mortgage statement isn't here. <laughs> I have to pay this. <laughs> I, pr I can prove I, can I paid this amount. Therefore, I had that much money. Look, IRS. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> no, but like, it, by the time we were actually old enough to have jobs and stuff, we were like playing games at like the library or friends' houses. We didn't, or we played games at home that didn't need internet, like Age of Empires. Exactly. Yeah. Black Ops Two. Yeah, we. I mean, we Ooh. had we had video game systems. We just didn't weren't playing like active multiplayer. We didn't want to. Yeah, we we didn't want to pay the extra money a year to play online with people, even though we could have. But we just didn't want to because we have to. We first had to pay for our Xbox membership and all that stuff, and then pay for the internet itself. Which I do know, all back that. in like back in like late two thousand like two thousand thirteen to sixteen area. It was more definitely more expensive than it is right now because it was a little bit more obscure. Not everyone had wi-fi whereas nowadays it's like if you walk in a house they have wi-fi yeah like, so we just didn't have jobs if like we were all working sure but you know i was like you know 14 15 and i couldn't really work jobs Did you <laughs> like, you, I mean, you weren't looking hard enough. I was Listen, I, it's Connecticut. It's Connecticut, my lawns. guy. Yeah. You can I, do yes, it. I, really good, I, I would rake lawns uh, in the summer, fall, and spring. I would rake lawns every weekend. Like, I, did that that is kind of lucky. I did that with a Boy Scouts. I didn't have to get no one to do it anymore. Jed is kind of lucky because he's in a rich part of Connecticut. So yeah, like, they'll pay a lot. Like People, can, oh, yeah. people are willing to pay stuff. Oh, oh really? How many people did you go to I've asking to get that. jobs from? Huh? What? Did you go to people asking for jobs? Like quite no, often. No, I didn't beg. That's scary. It's, it's not. Yeah. Don't come. Why are you talking about the rich part of Connecticut? And you're like, well, yeah. Well, we did also didn't ask, which might be part of. Who's me, Daddy? Can I mow your lawn? Give me a pretty penny. I'll function. do anything. Oh, Facebook Marketplace. That was yeah. Do it we didn't yeah, have internet. Started. We didn't have internet to go on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Just. Just there's a library, 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 a library two minutes away. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're like like eight years younger than us. I'm sorry. Just you have mugs. all these nice do you know, luxuries. Do you know that there's you're a right. huge mug market? People are willing to pay you so much money some, for mugs. Just Why did flip you mugs. eBay? Did you ever listen to Gary Vee? <laughs> Mike, I like your little blingy boing on your hat. It's oh, what's the word? It's for the ladies. And, um, it's the antenna. <gasps> Plumbus. <laughs> yeah, it is the plumbus. It is the plumbus. <laughs> Jed has no idea. He's so lost. What's a plumbus? Jed, Where am Jed, I? Jed, you have to watch Rick and Morty. He's playing Fortnite right now. <laughs> I am. Dude, I play Fortnite our whole conversation. I just want you to know. Oh, nice. Well, Christine and I have so many shows to watch together. I mean, have you watched? Uh, have you guys watched? Uh, oh, I actually want to talk about this. Have you guys watched? Um, did you watch Boba? I'm sure you watched Boba Fett. Yeah. Yep. And it was not that good. Nope. No, the show, the episodes, really 
the episodes where Boba Fett wasn't in it were, were really better than when he was in it. I yeah, know exactly because Boba Fett's just this, this okay. really nice dad I've who's always, like mm, always, give the people I've what always, they want. I've always loved Clone Wars, but do you guys ever watch Clone Wars? I don't remember. No, bit. I don't know if you ever did. A little bit. Did you know who Cad Bane was? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he was only in Clone Wars, so I just that was him. probably but, the best reveal in the any Star Wars live action show so far, except for, like like Luke Skywalker. Spoilers, Mandalorian. Luke Skywalker, whoop de doo He was in season two or whatever. Like everyone kind of knew that was coming, but Cad Bang showing up in the distance was like that was really sick. And they Cad okay, Bang. they did his personality exceptionally well. Oh I yeah. Like point out, I just like to point out that they really did not make him look like he should have looked like. No, 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 no. no. I, I have disagree. a response for this. I have a response for this. Don't give that argument. Don't give me that argument. argument. Don't give me that argument that Duro's aged differently than people. No, no that's no, dumb. That, that, no, that's not my argument. That's not my argument. Here it is. Ready? Okay. All right. All right. Why? What, you, what, you listen. Okay. Why? Why didn't they do photorealism for Anakin or Obi Wan in the Clone Wars? Oh, it's an animated show. It's a different art style. But and no, aliens okay, and fair. anything that isn't a human is easier to transfer from animation to live action. True. Yeah. I'm not True. saying it would have been hard. I'm saying I wish they had. Okay. Maybe maybe they thought... maybe maybe they should take an artistic license. My bad. But Personally, also, for me, also, I think it didn't. Artistic license. You guys, it, was it just me, or was the way they made like the, was the way they made Luke really weird and out of character? No, I think he was fine. They did better like, than he, the. It was just so movie. cringy. The lines were just like he was just like now Grogu, you can't do that, and it was just not the things Luke could have said. I didn't think. Well, he's, it's he's because be a master. He's, he's in his it's, master it's role. because all of this is taking place after Episode Six, so he's trying to act more mature. Because I know I just, don't, four, I just think it was six, a little too much. He was still was little, learning to be a Jedi. I just think it was, I think it was a little just too much of a difference. I, the right. the I, thing I is, is that opinion. Luke never has. He literally has a master Yoda. Okay, Obi Wan a little bit. This is literally his first student, and he's never met another Jedi. So he doesn't really know exactly even what to do. Like, he knows Ahsoka a little bit. But he's like, okay, I teach this dude what Yoda taught me. Can you do this? Do this thing, please. Do it. No? Okay, time out. He doesn't know what to do. I, he's just trying I, to be like, I, okay. I, just, be I think that even, even Luke Skywalker, it was just, even the lines were fine. But the way he talked was just too, like... I just didn't. I just think didn't think it was accurate based on where we left off with Luke. Well, okay. There's a, also a little bit of a limitation too because every single one of Luke's, um, well, I, I don't know how to quite explain this. So the way they made Luke's voice and his like intonation was they took old footage from like the 70s and 80s. And, yeah, I mean like he and, faked him or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so that's why it kind of it sounds a bit off, but the lines themselves, I think it goes to what Luke was saying. I thought it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I, did. Okay. I just think that uh, yep. I was watching with my dad at the time, and my dad and I both just agreed that like it just didn't feel it just didn't feel like Luke, and like I understand that like maybe he was like trying to do something new or whatever. Okay. I, I get that. I just didn't the think it was end that. all be all. Christine's dad said that the way that they portrayed Luke was totally fine, and he is the Star Wars. I know nerd. that he is. Oh, I I just say from my from my personal opinion, I just think that Luke was opinion. different done yep. in a way that he shouldn't have been done. But that was just that was just, that's just me. At least the CGI was better than Mandalorian. It, oh my goodness, yeah. yeah, way better. It was way better. They took notes. They're like, we're gonna get an expert on this, and they got an actual deep fake. Um, are there any movies? No, that, are there no, any movies coming out? Guys are like looking forward to Batman. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna see Batman. Batman looks. It thick. looks really it's good. Because like, like Batman versus Superman, all that stuff. Like I'm like, I hate that. I was so Batman. lame. Dude, Christian Bale Batman is. My favorite Batman, but so uh, Robert Patterson is his name. Yeah, Robert Pattinson. Dude, this could be the next dark Batman. I'm so excited because I love anything dark Batman, like the killing the ki killing the name or whatever with the animated movie back in like the early 2000s with Joker and Batman. So I'm good. It's dark Batman. I, I just think that I'm just really excited to see the Penguin because I think it was always an underused villain, and the only time they ever use him in live action cinema is when they made him that like demented freak in like uh in one yeah, of those yeah, old Batman movies. Yeah, yeah, the Riddler, you know? Like the Riddler yeah. was freaking Jim Carrey, yeah. and Riddler's bad. I really, I really want. And to then see him there. Mr. Freeze was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, oh, I will freeze you now. Oh. Yeah, it was really funny, dude. But I'm excited for that it's movie. Mr. Freeze too. And, oh, no, it's um, Mr. Freeze. No, you're right, it's Mr. Freeze. My bad. Um, is um. Was it is the next Doctor Strange movie coming out this year? I believe. Yeah, next uh, Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, it's May, right? Yeah. May, like May sixteenth. Yep. That's oh, what do you guys think about what do you guys think about, about Spider Man? A little off topic. Oh, we talked about Spider Man on a previous show. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. You got to listen really to all good. the shows. Super solid. Yeah. Um, but we can talk about it on our own podcast, Jed. <laughs> 
Oh, if we do our own podcast, we will have planned out segments. No offense. Exactly. No, we do plan out segments. We do plan out segments just because we have two guests on our show. It's like kind of more havoc. But usually when it's just me and Caleb or me and Caleb and we did one with Christine, um, it was definitely more organized and whatnot. But since we have four of us, it's a little more. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the RT podcast right now, which is like, you let's just got talk, two I feel right? like Gus Caleb. <laughs> Gus is like, guys, let's talk about this now and change the subject. I'm kind of like Please. Bernie where I'm like, I have a controversial opinion and I'm not afraid to tell you. Let me shout at you right now. I'm the now. Bernie. Micah, Micah would be Gavin. And Rich! and Jed would be like Chris. Eric Verdor. Okay. Eric Verdor. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. That's Eric Verdor. Are, are these your IRL friends? I know Gus is. No, no, we're talking about no. a whole different kind of podcast. We're not. Okay. Yeah, okay. we're just fans of that one. But there's different like personalities within that show that kind of, you know, they're similar to us. All of us, all four, right here. Did you guys know that in every Cars movie, Jed knows. In every Cars movie, every type of animal and human is represented in a bug, not a bug, a, in a car form, okay? I actually responded, I don't when I get you, that. Because see, animals, when you see what? flies, there are cars. When you see yep. anything, there are cars, right? Yep. Yeah. But in Cars 2, towards the end of the movie, when there's like a little news glimpse of I like this. The, I know this, this the Range great. Rover... He's the mayor of California, but if you see the California flag, it's just a regular bear. Yep. It's not a car bear. It's just a No bear. way. True. True story. Oh, there's bears in cars. So there's everything <laughs> in cars in isn't... Everything... Every animal in cars is a car except the bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's or how anything... great California is. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And, yeah. By That's the way, funny. I did not find that myself. I just stole it from a guy on TikTok. Listen, I appreciate I it. I would have never known, but that's because I, I Cars Two sucks. But that's a funny. Well, I like Cars Two. Cars Two is garbage. Get out. Can I you just, take well, them? Well, because it's like I have just I have such fond memories of it. Because when I saw Cars, I was really young, so it's like a car with missiles and like spies was like my James Bond. So it's like so it, for it, it us, my heart. for our family, I mean, you're, older, and, you're, you're you're boomers. So like, and <laughs> for Micah, who is your age, Cars is like. Cars and Incredibles are the two key Pixar movies that came I out. I really love Incredibles. Mike has always been, like, but Mike and I are different people. True. Mike yeah, better. I don't think Looking um, Camp have realized that. Well, that's all, well I mean, it's <laughs> almost, <laughs> when Micah was younger. It's also like Micah was I'm just saying Micah that was Cars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that the first Cars movie is an extremely well put together movie from start to finish. It's I think a, it is too. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad movie at all. I think it's a good movie. He's saying I'm he saying enjoys Cars too. Yeah. I just have a special place in my heart for Cars too. I okay. always will. And I'll just see it again. I mean, so we all have special. Great. We all have special places in our heart for really bad movies, and yours can be cars too. He just roasted you, but you didn't take it. You took it like a champ. I <laughs> Look at him. He's having spasm. <laughs> yeah, he's like four, eight, <laughs> nine. That's kind of like one eighties. That's kind of like you, 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 can, you can have an opinion, but you're just your opinion is just wrong. It's the same thing, same concept. <laughs> <laughs> I nated that guy. <laughs> All right, he's dead. He can get off of here. Hold on. That's, that's an inside joke. It's an inside joke. I'm not sure if Micah gets it. He might get it. It's I get an inside it. joke. Okay, okay. Guys, that's not I'm, not. I'm not just cringy. I'm not just cringy. Guys. Well, I'm, I'm not cringy. Guys, I'm not gonna. Say, guys, I, that's, please, that's, that's guys. Trust me, I'm cool. Guys, I'm kind of cool. Look at me. I forgot oh, I was going to the entire movie, guys. I just, okay, that is one thing that really annoys me about Micah. I I get along with Micah on a lot of things. He, for I'm, some reason, finds it very, I'm very funny. Joking, like, I'm like, joking. Like, when you were young, you liked John Denver. Yo, <laughs> 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 it's like, yes, exactly. But let's look at the keywords. When you were very young, people change. Like, we say, I, I remember Micah being... I remember Micah being not as ugly when he was younger, but guess what? Oh! Listen, the people change, but the memories are forever. <laughs> memories are forever, yeah. yeah. I will Great, say, Luke, it is Tan, looking back. You like John Tenbo. I, I, I don't know if I don't know if Tan, this guy. Well, I can't understand. What is it, Jared? Tell us. Tell us. Luke, did Christine show you that Twitter thread we had about, the, like, of the Allagash? Not the Allagash. I, I mentioned did. Allagash. She was telling me about it live. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the tweet really fast because it was actually a masterpiece on my part. Um, I, like to, I, I like to toot my own horns that much, but I will. Um, while you're looking it up, uh, Micah, so um, Maya stalked your Twitter and it's absolute <laughs> gold. Like, it's the best Twitter yeah. I've ever seen. 
Micah's yeah. Twitter? Yeah. I told I told Micah the other day. I think mine. You don't you don't know who Demir is, but mine, Demir and Micah's Twitter is probably some of the best Twitters on the internet. No, just Micah's. Just Micah's. No, I'm 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 gonna throw myself in. I, I, I don't care. Ego boost. Uh, ego boost is something you don't need, Jets. The Sorry. only person I know that has a huge inflated ego is Kyle Cheney. <laughs> Dick Cheney? Do they know who that is? Do they, they, do they know who that is? Absolutely I know who Dick not. Cheney is. Dick Cheney, you know? <laughs> no, you do not. No, no. Dick Cheney. <laughs> it, all Kyle, fire, Kyle, it, it all started with this Kyle, fire if tweet. you're watching this... He's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe next time. <laughs> you know... I if am, you okay, guys um, put Jedward in the title, you might get some exposure. <laughs> we could do That's special true. guests. Yeah. Hey, don't wait, put Jed, right, just I, I, put Jedward. Let me, let me read the tweet really fast. So, I said, I, like, Mike is saying, so my tweet was, you want me, I want you, baby. And it was a picture of Ninja. <laughs> and it was, um, Mike is saying some, like, 80s pop reference, pop song that I didn't, I didn't get the reference to. And I said, I didn't get the reference. And Christi Christine said, it's an 80s Sing song. It. Sing it. I know yeah, you want you me. You shook me all night long. Yeah, you shook me all night long. <laughs> and I said, it was a TikTok song, and Christine says lame. So I responded all claps, but not all caps. I said, at least I tweet. Oh God, I'm get absolutely destroyed. I spent more quality time with your husband on the Alligator when I was nine than you've ever done with him. Boom, roasted. And, then, and like I said, is our tubby time still happening tomorrow at nine? <laughs> and, I said, <laughs> and I said, and I said, you bet your sweet baby. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a Fortnite. Hang on. Alright, <laughs> uh, Chad's playing straight up Fortnite right now. How unprofessional. Yeah, I, 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 Get I, I, his I, I, Apex box on this. Have Ape, Mr. Not, Apex said, look at him. And I can put that meme like, you bet your sweet bibby, that meme. And then but from there, I don't see the replies anymore. And then Christine, I, I don't know where Christine responded, but she responded something like, uh, you cry. I, you like played Minecraft the whole time. And I was like, no, I cried in the back of the canoe. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that's one of my vivid memories of the Allagash. I love how Jed's like, oh, you guys are on a real podcast. You guys don't have segments. You guys don't stay on topic. And meanwhile, he's playing Fortnite he's while he's, he's on the reading podcast. Straight, he's reading straight Twitter <laughs> right now. The, you, you know the Trainwrecks TV podcast is? No. No. Uh, it's, you know Trainwrecks? The gambler stream, gambling streamer? No. <laughs> he's a streamer. And he has the like only only Twitch podcast ever, basically. Except for, like he's like one of the biggest Twitch podcasts where he just has like 10 streamers on it at a time. It's pretty cool. What happens is they'll they'll be talking and like eight of them will randomly be playing like League of Legends just in the middle of it. And that's why I was like, I can do that. Anyway, all that to say is uh what? all that is to say that uh I was crying in the back of a canoe on the alley gash. I remember that very vividly. <laughs> that was a while ago. That was a long time ago. Luke remembers more of that than I do. Oh yeah, I remember like every day of that trip. I remember it was very amazing. Specific it, was, it was an amazing trip. So we played we played like 15 hours of Yahtzee because we were just bored out. We of played mind. so much Yahtzee. I remember that we played so much Yahtzee. It was every game was fun though. Like I never got bored of it, which is weird. Yeah, I'm surprised was, we. Was, did, I'm surprised was, we didn't have like chess or something. Um yeah, I don't know why we didn't. We're just like we're really into Yahtzee at the time. How did I was, you like, play? I'm honest, like, looking back on it, looking back on it, I'm kind of surprised. Poker? I'm kind of surprised you went because just like if, 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 I know you pretty well, and like thinking of you, I don't think of going on a random trip on the Allagash for two weeks. With your uncle, your cousin, and a bunch of grown men you barely know, if not don't know at all. I did um, not think that would be appealing to you. So I'm surprised I, that you went. I was in Boy Scouts and didn't drop out, and I did high-end adventures in Boy Scouts, unlike a cousin I have. Um, so I am um, I'm in Boy Scouts. Yeah, but what do you do? Sell Girl Scout cookies for Quinn or something? <laughs> what do you think I do? What? Boy Scouts has not changed that much since you were in Boy Scouts, big Oh, right it's now. changed. <laughs> But like saying like the Allagash trip like when your uncle when Uncle York told me about that I'm like oh that sounds really fun because like I did like you know I've done canoeing trips and biking trips to Cape Cod and I've go and I've gone to the um, Appalachian See, just so you know that's the kind of stuff that we we go on camp out to like once a month and we go on hikes like every other camp out it's like we're not like Girl Scouts yeah it's in your backyard <laughs> what we do <laughs> <laughs> where'd you go camping. <laughs> We went to like, Bigelow Hollow, we Mount Hope State Park. We, we have our spots. Fat Man Squeeze. But now it's called Jedward Squeeze. Or Fat Word Squeeze. <laughs> Jedward <laughs> Squeeze? I'm just, I'm just kidding. They're like, oh, Fat Word Squeeze. All right, Jed. Like, I'll give you a little credit. At least you didn't quit Boy Scouts for that long. I'm in Boy Scouts. I, do, I never quit. I'm in Boy Scouts. 
Oh, middle boy got his tantrum tantrum going on. You poor little. Need a cookie. Need a girl's milk cookie. Need a cookie. But yeah, like, like you said, like, I, I love outdoorsy stuff. What are you talking about? Look, I remember there was a period of time where I was like, whenever I see you, I felt compelled to apologize for how annoying I was when I was so young. Oh, and I don't do that anymore because I'm like, well, he'll get over it. He's over it. And no, over you, should, it. you should keep apologizing. No, no, we're over that. We're past that. So Luke you're sorry. I, Luke, we're best friends. We're now. looking so for sorry. reparations. We're looking for reparations right what now. What about Hans? Is Hans just out of this now? Hans different. I'm telling Hans. Who's Hans? I'm going to clip this part of the podcast and send it to no, him. No, no. Oh, speaking of clips, you guys really do need to make a short, like a, a YouTube shorts TikTok. We might. Of this. Yeah, I think once we get more podcasts, like you literally have out. no way. You literally have no way of growing if you don't. Listen, if we get when once we get more stuff out, more co-op stuff and more podcast stuff, we'll definitely clip. Did anybody else's TikTok account get permanently banned? <laughs> oh yeah, mine did. No, no, <laughs> got banned. Mine got banned. Dude, got perma He was like, I can't believe it. Wait, I who's there? Hi, guys. My God. Why? I remember he posted it. I remember one of his videos was like, uh, it was just like some, some com someone commented on his video. The next thing, the next thing was, uh, his next video was responding to that comment and like Donald Trump dancing and saying, deal with it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I remember. Gonna, no. oh, man. Remember. You can't even find this day and age. Maybe back in the seven, though. maybe in the seventies, you could get away with that. <laughs> I was telling him like, Mike, you're gonna get canceled. He was like, oh, no, I'm not. So, okay. <laughs> no, I just will, are. will myself not to be. Oh, like, I if, tweeted like, out how many followers do I need to get canceled, and Demir said six. <laughs> and no, coincidentally, <laughs> I had six followers. <laughs> oh, coincidentally, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I should, should pull that number out of a hat. Oh, I think six. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> Oops. Oh my lord. Uh, uh let's let's call it for the podcast. Um okay. it's, it's been, I'm down. I'm down. It's been, it's been a while. Hour and been 15 a hot minutes. Min. Hour and 15 hot minute. boys. There's a little there's some stuff here and that you can probably cut out but not a whole lot I'm like gonna, this you can cut out. I'm going to cancel out this. Huh, I'm going to cancel this last segment. <laughs> yeah. And our interruptions. Yeah. Come on. And, 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 and every time and every time Jed opened his mouth. And Micah. So if I do that, and we're, we're going down. No, if I cut cut out what Jed said, the podcast is gonna be like twenty minutes. Yeah, I literally I fueled the conversation. I was like NFTs, cryptocurrency, Marvel, Boba Fett. You, well, we couldn't <laughs> create any Karen. topics if you kept talking about the topics. <laughs> yeah, we're well, like, don't, don't complain when I give you solutions. Thank me. I'm waiting for my thank you. You're welcome, Micah. <laughs> Well, at least we're getting sponsored by Easy Pass. Easy oh Pass, the, the transportation vector of champions. Poggers, champ. Easy Pass is the way to go. It's a pass that makes it easy for you. Poggers. T -pose. Poggers. Dab on them haters. Poggers. If you don't like Twitch, you can't say Poggers. Poggers, champ, in your face. Your mom. Do you smell bacon? Yes. Do you smell bacon? Do you smell bacon? Do you smell bacon? Jed, do you smell bacon? A lot of bacon. Like, like an unhealthy amount. Bacon? Like I shouldn't smell that much bacon. Still bacon. What? Yep. <laughs> <Just>, yup. <laughs> yup.